Hey everybody, it's been a little while, but today I have another haul. Today's haul is from Mod Cloth. I love Mod Cloth. I do get sponsored by them to make these videos, but I also end up usually buying more stuff from them because I just really like their stuff. So I'm going to take you through what I got. The first item I have is literally, it's going to go on my list of like favorites for April. I'm going to try to do one of those like favorites of the month. It's literally one of the favorite pieces of clothing I've ever had. I will never give them up. I'm obsessed with them. It is this pair of denim shorts. They button up, they're high-waisted, and then they have an inseam of about, I'd say five inches with a little fold over here. I have worn these now twice. <laughs> the car horn was like, yes girl, you wore them twice. No, I've worn them twice under unusual circumstances where I was walking a lot and sweating a lot and kind of just like very active. Here's what didn't happen with these amazing shorts. They did not roll up. They did not um, give me weird chafing. Now I was using chafing powder, which I do for like every time I wear shorts, but sometimes even with shorts, especially when they do fit the bottom and don't curl up, they tend to like rub and give me like a weird feeling down there. No weird feelings. I wore them all day, was comfortable. They were high enough that like, they kind of supported me and I just, I'm obsessed with them. I also love that they have this adorable button fly. This is very different, very cute if you like tuck a shirt in to like have it. And they're just, they're just the best. Like seriously, the best. I did order them in quite a larger size than I usually get. I got them in a 28. Reasons being, I know that mod cloth can sometimes run small in their pants and I always size up one size for short. So I ended up sizing up two sizes because it just made sense to me. Mod cloth cuts a little small sometimes in their like sized pants. And then I also knew that like, just because of my thighs and butt, I always have to go up a size in shorts. So these have been a godsend. Like love, love, love them. I cannot underline it enough. They are standard kind of short, standard pockets, you know, one, two, three, small pocket here, button up fly. And then you have obviously your back pockets. I don't know anything else to say about them other than they're like my favorite thing I've ever gotten this year. Definitely this year, maybe the last two years. Obsessed with them. And I've already shot two looks in them, which is unusual for me to shoot something like so quickly again, but I couldn't resist because I was like all about them. Like 100% about them. Look at these shorts. Boom, 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 they just are amazing. The bestest, the bestest. I can't say enough about how much I love them. So behold the beauty of the booty in the jeans that are blue and beautiful. And something that rhymes with Udi. The next item I bought, this I bought with my own money and I bought it because mermaids. I have been looking for just like chill sweatshirts that still look a little bit more put together than like a normal sweatshirt. And I wanted something fun. And when I saw this mermaid sweatshirt, I could not not get it. It's very generously sized. I got a three X and it's a like a little bit big on me like you would want a sweatshirt to be. It's got two little mermaids and some sea items, some shells, some stars, some magic, and it's on a cream. It's not a traditional sweatshirt where it's like fuzzy on the inside. It's more of that like terry cloth kind of feel. But man, French Terry, that's the word. It's French Terry. But it is so comfortable. I lived in it yesterday. I was like shooting these looks out in the freezing cold and I threw this baby on me and I just lived my best life and I am obsessed with it. I love it. You're probably gonna see it on me in my stories all the time because I know I'll be wearing it on the days when I don't shoot or when I'm not filming or when I'm not even intending to leave my apartment because it's just comfortable and it makes me feel a little bit nicer than living in my pajamas, which is what I usually do. So I'm actually filming the try on portion for this sweatshirt. It's the last item I'm trying on today because I fully intend to just stay in it and wear it as I edit videos together and just be like super comfortable and look down on my chest and be like, my boobalas are covered in mer people and that makes me happy. <laughs> it's the little things, people. It's the little things. <laughs> 
The next item I have is this lovely skirt. Now you guys know I'm a sucker for color. I just thought this was such an unusual combination of colors. We've got a mustard green, a coral, kind of peachy color, and then this lovely lavender, which is like everywhere this season, and it's on a cream base. Now I did size up one size in the skirt. I did get a four. The reason why is it's a wrap skirt with my thighs. Sometimes that tends to be a little bit of a problem. It is a faux wrap where the wrap is sewn across, but then loose so it can't split at the bottom. It has an acetate lining underneath, so you are covered if it does split. It's not like you're just gonna be out to the world. And then the way it ties here is just a little tie here, so you can either tie it in a knot or a bow, whatever kind of floats your boat per se. I just thought the colors were really, really kind of special, something you don't typically see um, in this you know, kind of skirt look. Now I'm digging for where it's made. Not where it's made, what it's made of. It is made of rayon 100%, so everything in this is rayon. I'm not exactly sure why, but this skirt gives me like rebellious 60s housewife vibes. The next item I got is this cute pink soft tank. I just wanted, again, some kind of nice relaxing wear, wear that I could wear every day, wear that I could wear, um, that I could wear every day and feel comfortable. This is a jersey knit. It's in a soft mauve pink, and it's got a fun little ruffle across the front. It's not very heavy, it's lightweight, so the ruffle's gonna move with you. And it's not very, like, fitted. It's more like a, what we call a trapeze style top, where it goes out like this. So it's just about kind of fun, breezy, good for, like, festival season realness. It's made out of rayon and spandex. And I just thought it was a fun little departure from some of the other things I have. And as we're getting into like warmer weather, fingers crossed New York can get its act together and finally be warm more than one day without going back to freezing temperatures. Not that I'm bitter, but I'm a little bit bitter. I just thought it'd be really cute with like a pair of jeans, a little cute kitten heel, and just boom, 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 ready to go. Uh, but again, we need that warm weather to start showing its face so I don't have to shoot in shorts in 30 degrees and high winds. Not that I did that yesterday. Oh wait, yes I did. You'll see those images soon. See how casual and cute and adorable is this? It's like super comfy, but the frills give it a little bit of zhuzh. Which we all need a little bit of zhuzh in our lives. But this item should be familiar if you have like been following me on Instagram because I've already shot it. This is another kind of fun little tank white stripe or like a seersucker. It's got a fun little tie here at the top and then it's got this lovely pleated peplum down here that is super flattering, super cute. It's also looser so it's a very comfortable top. I think it'd be adorable for like if I was styling like an editorial shoot to throw this top over like a swimsuit and almost use it like a little cover up. I don't know, I just had dreams about it one night and I was like that would be adorable. As far as what it's made out of, it's made out of 100% cotton. So again, it will also dry very quickly because it is that natural fabric. And it's just great. It's got a great little cut to it. Got some nice bust starts in here to kind of shape you at the top, but then giving you that nice flowiness down at the bottom. And in the summer, I tend to really appreciate flowy clothing a lot more because when you sweat, it just like lets the air get in there and like dry you out because you nasty. Like, let's be real. We all real nasty in the warm season. So anything I can do to like get some air <laughs> to like clear out the funk, I'm 100% a fan of. So I feel like candy striper, but make it fashion. So as if I don't have enough mauve colors in my life right now. <laughs> I don't, I can never have enough. This dress, again, super fun, basic summer dress. Look at that print, just check out that print. Can you not have a moment for that print? Oh, so great. It's got a fun little flutter sleeve here, so more like a sleeveless top, but again, a little, it's kind of a sleeve, not really. On the front, we got some good pin tucking here down the front with buttons for a nice little detail. The buttons you can undo, though I'm not exactly sure why you would want to. It's also got a slip underneath it, so this could be really fun to wear over a pair of jeans, like a long duster. Um, even though it doesn't button all the way up, it only buttons up to here, but like kind of like a mesh duster, you know, very Rayanne from my so-called life realness. I also love that it has a tie right around the waist so you can define that waist, add a little blousiness to the top and then a nice kind of A-line skirt out to the bottom, which is what we see here. And then it's just a fun kind of sheer fabric that you can either play with 
And then again, the tank dress if you want to wear just the dress itself and not kind of layer it over some things. So I thought this was just like a fun um, item that, that felt to me like it could be fairly versatile, even though, you know, it is a bold print. I feel like I can make it work for me a whole bunch of ways. Notice for tall girls, the lining on this dress is pretty short. So like for us tall girls, you're probably gonna have to wear shorties underneath this. Also, I still hold that it would look really cute without the lining at all and like a pair of denim shorts, which is probably how I'll wear it, or with like a bralette and some bike shorts. Like kind of like that sporty look under like a floral chemise, as one might call it. So this item, I also bought myself because I couldn't not buy it. I was obsessed with it. I sized up because someone had mentioned in the reviews, and this is why I always say, guys, if you are unsure how something will fit you, read the reviews on the product because it'll, it'll give you an indication of does this run on the smaller size, does this run on the bigger side, do, like, if I have smaller arms, was it tight in the arms? If I have a larger bust, was it tight in the bust? You can get a lot of that information by reading product reviews, and if you aren't doing it, I say, definitely check that out because there's always gonna be items that I don't cover in a haul but you can get that same information that I'm using when I'm making purchases just right on the product itself so this is from the collaboration mod class did with Compania Fantastica and it is a green dress which is just like great for my skin tone I know I always said that I was like everything's great for your skin tone no but really this color is great and it has zebras all over it I was like obsessed I saw this and I was like you need to come home with me we need to be best friends we need to hang out we need to hang out I love it it's like a mini safari all over my body it's like a mini safari all over my body a mini safari all over my body that's like a sexy jam that's what I want to like but it's too fast for a sexy jam I'd have to like slow it down be like it's like a mini safari all over my body I want you down in my jungle I want you to swim through my pools I want you to explore my tundra it's like a mini safari when you touch my body see that literally totally improv off of this those of you who hate singing ha ha gotcha as a woman who owns a whole bunch of mod class stuff, I'm actually super glad I sized up on this because it does seem to run a little small. Also, there's no pockets and I really wish there was. Sometimes I buy things just because they're a rainbow. So that's why this ended up in my cart. I mean, you know what it reminds me of? Okay, does anybody remember Benetton? I think Benetton is still around, but they used to make kids clothing and that's like all my mother dressed me in. That and a company called Hannah Anderson, also still around, also has brightly colored stripes. Anyway, it reminds me of children's clothes made for adults, which 100% all about that game. All about that game. The more I can feel like I can have a great play date, <laughs> In my clothing, the more likely I am to purchase it. This is made of polyester rayon and spandex. It is uber soft. And I just want to tell you, I love how they did the neckline with the contrasting stripe. I just thought that was so cute. And then they did the same thing here down on the sleeve. And I just thought, that's a nice little detail that makes it just so much better than your average like striped shirt. It just looks more designed. And I love those little thoughtful details. Also... I kind of love that even though the stripes don't match up, they like kind of got them on, so it's like squares but in different colors. I'm just digging it. I'm digging this tee. This shirt's super comfortable and I love it. It gives me good vibes because it's reminding me of something that makes me happy. So when I saw this dress, it made me think of Dawson's Creek. I don't know why, but I just was like, I don't want to wait for a night to be over. Um, there's some other lyrics to this song I don't remember, but literally this just reminds me of 90s girl in small town Connecticut realness. These big buttons are preaching to me some gospel I did not know I believed in until I found them. I love the spaghetti strap. I'm going to definitely put a white t-shirt under this and rock like own that 90s realness. The pattern itself is just, again, nice and buttery. I'm a warm skin tone, so they're in warm colors. They just love me. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I don't want to like 
that's why that song is perfect for it because it's literally about not wanting to wait and I don't want to wait for this one. I, the night to be over, like let's be real, I go to bed early so I can definitely wait for the night to be over but I can't wait to wear this dress. As far as what it's made of, get in here girl, tell me what you made of. What you working with? Uh, why? Sometimes I feel like I'm just fighting a battle that I'm never gonna win when I can't find like what it's actually made of. It's like a cruel, cruel summer. Yeah, I'm on a singing train today. This is gonna be everyone's haul they hate. Okay, I can't find it guys. It's made of magic. This dress is made of magic. Don't fight me on it. I will cut you. Actually, I won't because I'm opposed to violence. I just say that to be funny. Whoosh! <laughs> I love this dress. That's so cute. Last but not least of the clothing, I have two accessories I'm also gonna show you, is this adorable polka dot dress. Here's why I love it. It's got this fun little mock frilly turtleneck, that lovely defined waist that every girl loves, and pockets. It's lightweight, so this is like a dress you could wear to work, throw on like a little cardigan and be adorable and then take off the cardigan, throw on some heels and be sex kitten realness. It's got a very like 50s vibe to it, which I love, maybe 60s, I don't know, a time when polka dots were cool and also the silhouette were cool. Fill me in on when that is. I can't find what this is made of, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's polyester based on what it feels like. I just think it's a great layering dress. It's a great basic staple. Polka dots are like super hot right now, so it's a good way to get that into your wardrobe without like over committing to it. Plus, a navy blue polka dot is probably always gonna be slightly in style. I don't know why I just wanna like drape myself in fabric today. I'm feeling artsy. Like I'm gonna go, I just saw this amazing documentary about children in Switzerland who learned how to tie-dye eggs in celebration of Latin culture. It's really deep and kind of poetic, but it has a gruesome and sad ending. Sorry, that's what I feel. I don't know what is weird today. Weird every day. So, fun fact, I've already worn this dress because it's so comfortable. And I love that it's a midi length, so it's totally appropriate for work. Let's get some nice swishy, swishy action too. Ooh. But like won't come up in the wind, which is what every girl wants, including the pockets. On to the accessories. I love a good pair of brogues. Fun fact about these brogues, I wore them in a photo shoot I did for Mod Cloth like a year ago. Then they brought them back, and I was like, we've reunited and it feels so good so I got them that's like literally why so I have worn them I did enjoy them and I got them for myself again bought these with my own money monies because I just knew that they fit me and that I love them and they're so springy and girly but they still have that menswear vibe oh perfection it was like hard to make shoes look cool on camera is this, is this working for you guys? Do you like it? Ooh, this is kind of a cool, like if I was doing like an editorial. I'm gonna take that buzzer as a sign that no, that was not a good idea and I should move on to the last item because I am losing myself in a train of thought that I could be stuck here playing with the shoes for a while. So my last, last item is like legit a super cool bag. And this might go also in the lines of things that I love top five for April and definitely top of the year so far. So it seems just like a normal over the shoulder bag, right? Here's where stuff gets cool. And this is how I use it. Buy shoulder strap. You can use that if you like, but let me show you how some boss lady is gonna rock it. Buy shoulder strap, flip this metal handle up how legit cool is that? It's like a little art deco style bag. I haven't seen a lot of this, like anything like this out there. It's vintage, but it's also just super modern and cool. And I was carrying it and like people were stopping me in Vegas being like, where did you get your bag? And I was like, oh, it's just a small shop. Cause you know, you know how it is. Like you're either like, I got this for $5 and I'm super proud of it. Or you're like, 
BSing that it was super hard to find that only you own it because sometimes you just want to feel special with your fashion choices. I actually know eventually I broke down and told them it was my cloth, but I just love how it has that versatility and when the, the handle's down, it just looks like a normal part of the bag. What I like about this too is when you travel with it, it keeps this from getting damaged because you basically create a little cushion with the purse, throw it in your suitcase, flip the handle up, now you have your clutch, put it back down, great for packing, not going to get damaged. And I think that's like super important because you know, all the time, I tend to damage things when I travel. Inside, it's got one big pocket and a zipper pocket. I still have stuff in here from when I was shooting earlier. We got some contacts, a bracelet of some sorts, a ring that I got in Turkey a bajillion years ago. Yeah, so I've been legit using this purse. Um, and then there's a little zipper pocket in here too. So it's, it's quite, it holds more than you would think, but I'm like very into it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my Mod Cloth haul for April. I, as always, I'm really, really happy, really, really excited. You've probably seen some of these items already on my Instagram, but get ready for more, because I definitely, I buy with purpose with Mod Cloths, and I got a whole lot of purpose for all of this, and you'll see it soon. Um, with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links are all down in the description box, as they always are. Any questions, comments, anything else, leave them down below. I will check you guys later. Have an amazing day, and peace.